big hello to all the aspirants out there. I'm back with a new video here. So in this video, we are going to solve the Infosys pseudocode questions which were asked in the most recent exam. So this exam was conducted for the both uh, two roles, Operation Executive and System Engineer role. So if you are not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And also I have mentioned the Telegram group discussion link in the description box. So go join the group. And here comes the very first question. Set we are setting the integer. So there is an integer result. We are declaring it and result equals to 4 by 0. Simply we are dividing the integer by 0. So this is unacceptable, right? Uh, dividing any integer by 0 is not accepted. But uh, we are directly displaying the result. So what will be the output? Whether we get the garbage value or exception or error on displaying the result. So just remember that whenever we divide any integer by 0, we get an exception. So option E is the correct answer. Moving on to the second question here comes. So we need to find the output for the variable temp equals to 250. So even there are three integers uh, defined. So temp n and sum three different variables and we are setting the value of n and sum to temp. So n equals to 250 initially we are setting it to and also sum equals to 250. So it's fine. Now there is a while loop. The while loop will be only executed only when the value of n is greater than zero. So anyhow the value of n is 250 presently. So n equals to n by 10 redefining the value of n. This operation gives us the quotient part. n equals to n by 10 gives us the gives the quotient. So n equals to 250 by 10. The quotient is 25. Now again we are updating the value of sum. Sum equals to sum minus n. Initially uh, the sum value is 250. 250 minus 25 we get so 225. So after completion of the first iteration the value of n is 25 the sum value is 225 and then again now the print statement is not executed the print is the final statement so again the value uh, next iteration n value is anyhow greater than 0 so again n equals to n by 10 this is the first iteration second iteration n equals to n by 10 25 by 10 we get the quotient is only 2 right again sum equals to sum minus n sum value is 225 225 minus 2 223 and again in the last iteration here we get again we are observing whether the value of n is greater than 0 of course n equals to 2 so we perform again n equals to n by 10 so whenever 2 is divided by 10 the quotient will be 0 right so 0 now sum equals to sum minus n 223 minus 0 anyhow 223 so finally by this step we are we are done with the while loop because the furthermore value of n is 0 so the well, the loop comes to an end so once the loop uh, comes to an end, we print directly the sum, print sum. So 223 is the option C, correct answer. So here comes the next one, the third one. So we need to just simply find the value stored in the variable res. So there is a variable called val and res. So initially we are uh, storing the val, 1 in val and storing 2 in res. So 2 integers. Now there is a if condition. The most important thing here is that even inside the if conditions the assignment operators works like inside if condition we observe the and operator and there are two expressions right if of val and res equals to val plus phi here the value of res is updated res equals to val plus phi 1 plus phi equals to 6 so the value showed in the result is 6 option d is the correct answer this is a very easy question so here a bracket is missing just okay fine option d moving on to the fourth question so here comes the fill in the blank so all we need to do is that we need to fill in the blank with the right logic so that uh, we get the message new but not old so all i need to do is i should execute this if condition but not this else condition so i should write a logic uh, which will make this if condition true so anyhow i know the value like uh, the variable value stores 143 value so so inside if i should get a logic what is that it should be true right so which of the following is true value percentile 14 equals 0 or value percentile 7 equals 0 so the true statement will be value percentile 13 because 143 percentile 13 equals to 0 this is the true statement double equals so the right logic is value percentile 143 percentile 13 the remainder will be 0
and here comes the fifth question it's uh, very simple so we need to just find the output for the uh, given variables a equals 12 b equals to sorry a equals 2 and b equals 12 so integer a b now there is a for loop simple for loop so for int integer i equals a so this is the initialization this is the condition part this is initialization this is the condition part and this is the updation part for any loop we get uh, these three things so i equals a i less than p i equals to i plus 2 now i am just printing the value of i now let us uh, look at each iteration so initially i value is a so i is printed 2 is printed and anyhow 2 is less than 12 and then i is updated to plus 2 4 again i is printed so again 2 4 plus 2 plus 2 i should do and again i is printed plus 2 so moving on 10 and when 10 plus 2 i i do we get 12 right so here the logic is i equals a i less than p so 12 is not less than 12 right 12 is equals to 12 so i will not be printing 12 only until 10 2 4 6 8 10 option b is the correct answer but some of them might confuse with the option c because the 12 will uh, the value 12 will not be printed because here we only have i less than b in case if we get i less than or equal to b the option c would be the correct one so here comes the sixth question basically uh, simple there is an array defined as uh, array elements 1 2 3 4 5 so five elements are stored so even we are defining a new array empty array b and uh, set integer length equals to array of array length of a so len equals to the length of this a is 1 2 3 4 5 elements so 5 now we are running a for loop for c equals to len minus 1 c equals to 4 to 0 and and d equals to d equals 0 to 4 simple right see uh, c value runs from 4 to 0 by decreasing uh, 1 in each iteration whereas d runs from 0 to 4 increment uh, by incrementing 1 now just uh, there is only one statement within this loop like uh, if we execute this one statement we just directly get the answer so let's uh, start from the first iteration so in the first iteration b of d so d value start from 0 right b of 0 equals to a of 4 so then b of 1 equals to a of 3 in the third iteration b of a of sorry b of 2 and b of 3 and b of 4 so similarly here the value will be decrementing a of 2 a of 3 sorry a of 1 and a of 0 simply if you understand the logic the answer is nothing but reversing the array elements so 5 4 3 2 1 1 2 3 5 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 is stored as 5 4 3 2 1 in the uh, b array in the array b that's it so this is the logic for reversing the array elements here comes the seventh question there's only one line of logic we need to just find the output right so if of a comma b comma x comma y so if this is true we uh, should just display code so now let us look at what are these a b x y variables so initially a is a integer variable and b is a b is also an integer but c c and d are the character variables so now if we substitute these values a b x y 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 so if this is true i should display code so only one thing one te uh, tip is that inside if even though if you are having a list of integers like 0 1 11 16 minus 1 3 whatever no matter how many values are present inside if you should always consider the last value or last integer so here if i observe if of 1 2 1 2 the last value is 2 right so until and unless the last value is not 0 always the if condition is true so now this if condition is true because here the value of y is not equal to 0 right so it is true anyhow any non-zero value is considered as a true statement option e is the correct answer so let me give you a small test so if of 2 comma 1 comma 0 now this statement is true or false just comment in the comment box here comes the eighth question 
there are three different integers are declared like uh, m and p are declared 2 3 4 r minus 4 are assigned so now let's uh, see the next line here there is a new variable like result so it is declared as plus plus m plus n star p so all you need to know is that plus plus m what is uh, what does it mean by so this is a pre increment operator so there are two types of operators like pre increment and post increment or pre decrement or post decrement so pre and post so the mean the basic difference uh, lies here so whenever we use pre increment the updated value you value is substituted directly in the present expression whereas in post increment we we don't use the most updated value in the present expression but we use it in the next immediate expression so now all i mean to say that is here anyhow this is the pre increment so i should use the updated value so initially m value is 2 but m is incremented right m equals to m plus 1 so m becomes 3 now i should substitute 3 here plus n star p is 3 star minus 4 so 3 plus minus 12 so 9 is the correct sorry minus 9 is the correct option option b so there is a small test for you guys in case the expression is m plus 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 n star p what will be the value comment in the section moving on to the ninth question here so we are given to uh, a character c and the integer i so inside while we are comparing character with a and comparing character c with 101 so the simple logic here is the most important logic is whenever we compare characters uh, comparing characters nothing but comparing the ascii values so just compare ascii value of the given characters so now let's look at the ascii values small a b c d e f so on so the ascii value of small a is 97 and goes on incrementing with uh, 1 99 100 101 102 so now let's look at it the c greater than equals to a nothing but the ascii value of c what is stored inside c we should look at the what is stored in the variable c don't confuse it is just a symbol variable name of the variable is c but uh, inside c it, uh, d is stored so 100 is greater than equals to 97 and 100 is less than equals to 101 so this while statement is true right now incrementing c i should increment the ca character right so initially the character is stored as d now on incrementing d plus one i get e so the character is stored as e and incrementing i initially the integer is zero i am increasing by one now in the second iteration again i should compare here 100 becomes 101 right the ascii value of e is 101 so 101 greater than 97 and 101 less than or equal to 101 again there is an increment in the character e becomes f 1 becomes 2 but by this state by this uh, iteration it comes to an end because in the next iteration if we observe the character value the character value of f is 102 but here 102 is greater than 97 this is true but here 102 is less than or equal to 101 this is false right 102 is greater than 101 so hence we come to an end so i value is 1 and 2 the most updated value of i is 2 so option a is the correct answer